You know, when you were diagnosed with Parkinson's, you kept it a secret for seven years. And, you know, I would think that would be a hard secret to keep. Is there, <laughs> was there a, like a, was there a thought process behind it? Were you just so afraid of being treated or looked at differently suddenly? Yeah, I'm afraid of the stigma. I'm afraid of, uh, I was most afraid of like, because I was a great relationship with you guys, that, 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 that you wouldn't laugh if you knew I was sick. Mm. So, so I had the same, I had it. And finally, you got to wear, everything I did, it was my left hand was really bad. And so if you watch all this old footage of me, and I had something in my left hand at all times because it's a resting tremor. If it's, if it's resting, it'll tremor. But if we keep it busy, it'll be okay. So you notice everything I did, I had a phone, I had a pencil, I had a hat, I had a right. small dog, I had anything. <laughs> and, 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 and it just, uh, it, it got me through for a lot of years. But then it just got to be impossible. The thing that I'm, uh, I'm not going to take credit for anything, and I'm not taking credit for it. But, but there's some lady who can shop now. Uh, maybe 20 years ago, couldn't go shopping. Couldn't, couldn't open her bag and fumble out her, her canes because nobody knew what was going on with her. And now she can say, so sort of thing Michael Fox has. Yeah. And people know, and, and that's, a, that's a gift, and that's, a, that's such a present to me. For people to feel seen and heard and understood. No, it's a big deal.